for me to know, I've got to know that he's going to hit it in the first place. So you've got to know all your natural angles of where all the balls are going to start with. And you know, when I put that there, you were just fixed on potting the ball in that corner. Yeah, that was it. Everyone was like, well, it's got to go in that corner or that corner. Yeah, it forced me into thinking it forced was the ball. And then, and then, yeah, forced, you know, because, yeah, you can put, you know, put the, the, a natural angle is just the way that the ball naturally happens. Because you've got to know where that is so you can change that. Because in that instance, I needed to change it then because I don't want I don't want to hit it. So about manipulating the cue ball and, and understanding the natural path that the ball is taking. Well, you need to know that so you can change it. Because it, uh, the game is all about where you put the cue ball at the end of the day. It's all, it's all, it, it's all, yeah, it's about making it as easy as possible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Gareth, you said he was stunning the ball. What was he doing then to stun it? Yeah, so, yeah, because what he was doing was, um, so, John was putting that there and saying that was the natural angle to, to hit that yellow. Now, I said it's not the natural angle. Now, John did pot that ball and did hit that. So, you physically can get the cue ball to hit that. But what he was doing was he was slightly stunning it. So, what I mean by slightly stunning it is the natural path hitting the cue ball at the top, at a, at a pocket weight, the white's going to roughly go to about there, like this. Yeah? What John did was, rather than put the cue ball there, and make it hit it naturally, like that. What John did was he put it there, like I just hit the chalk mark, but then he stunned it slightly. So what he did was he come down on the white a little bit and put more of a, of a firmer stroke on it to make the white go to the side a little bit. So he actually stunned it over like that. So I set that up exactly the same as I just did where I made the cue ball hit there, but it's just because I hit the white in a slightly different place. So that's all the stun is. Now the definition of a stun, what I've just played there, was I just stunned the white onto that. Well, I can also play a stun and get the cue ball to stun also down there. You know what I mean? Because I can play a stun shot onto those balls. It's still the same stun. It's just a little bit lower on the cue ball. That's one. So now for this one, I'm just going to go a little bit lower. Now to hit the middle one, you just got to go in between the two. So the stun to hit that one. I went a little bit harder to hit that one. Now a little bit in between. Hopefully to hit that one. And it's just a little bit higher to hit that one. But the natural path was there. I'm standing here, you can see the natural path. It's going to go there then. But, it's, it's quite a different but what, what, what the amazing thing is, is, is that, that you put the cue ball there and thought that the natural path was there. Yeah, but now I'm stood here. The you you can see nowhere it's here. nowhere near there. I was fixed in the fact that you wanted me to hit that ball. Yeah, but yeah, and if I said to you, right, you've got to hit that ball and your life depends on it, you'd be far easier putting the white there. Yeah, totally. Because you couldn't miss it. With the stun, you could. Because if you've got a little bit too much on, you're going off. And if you've got a little bit too much more on that, you'd hit the red that was there. So if I said to you, right, your life depends on you hitting that ball with the white. If you put the white there, as long as you didn't get a kick, you can't possibly fail to hit that ball. Yeah, from here you can see that that's Where well, if you put the white there, you can. Yeah. You can fail to hit that because you can go in off. If you hit a little bit too low and do this. You know, makes a big difference. Do you want to just uh, do you want to just have a game, uh, have a have a semi-final and a, and a final? So, yeah. if um, 
if, if you want to, you you, you, you you two play and then uh, you two can play and then, the, and then the winners play just one frame and I, obviously I can watch and if I pick up on anything while you're playing I can... Uh, you better get a note <laughs> This can be the, the, ho the home leisure 2011 World Masters. <laughs> How would you hold your hand you know, if you're playing like off the side like that? How would you hold? Well, similar to how similar to how I explained to you about the break off. Yeah. You know where I, where I put my hand on the table. Yeah. So if we if we can use the cue ball. So you're sort of going down. So this is. In, so in yeah. So like so that. so if we pot in the three into the corner, yeah. same as how I played, look. Ah. Same, look. Yeah. I just put my hand over it, and yeah. exactly the same. And then you can't really miss it. Yeah. See, and as I pull it back and it gets thinner, I just squeeze it so there's no gap. Yeah, same again. Yeah. Yeah. Good. It's a big break. So the rules you're playing here, are you playing you play black black ball rules or would you? Uh, we well, do we play words. So. Do you? Yeah. What what rules would you? You have no idea. Okay. Yeah. That's much better now. You've slowed everything down. See now, there's a see before. Hold on, there's a, there's a, there's a shot here that you because the ball the ball that's a problem here at the minute is this one and this one. Well, there's an opportunity straight away to get this one out off this one. Yeah. So what I, what, I, what I would normally do is I pop that, I pull that down the rail, I pay that into the cannon, pop that, and I try and get onto there. And if I didn't get on there. I do a double on the back. Yeah, but here, here, you, you, you're, a, you're a little bit narrow. So if unless you land exactly there, you've not got the perfect angle to run into that way. Now you've got the perfect angle to pot that one and run into the yellow, and you're almost guaranteed to be honest. So that is that is that is almost a plate like a plain a plain ball with with top spin. It's unlucky. Too much. Yeah, a little bit too much. Well, yeah, sometimes you, you you don't really see, you know, everyone doesn't see shots and sometimes I'll be playing and, you know, I'll get down and then think, oh, you know, there's that one there where I could have landed on that one and, and could have played. Sometimes after you've played it, you know, especially when you watch it back on the TV and think, oh, I don't know how to play that one. Mm. You no, know, everybody misses shots. Yeah, it's, it's not like here, I mean, this, I would just straight away try and pop that. Yeah, well, here yeah, there isn't really any option because that's really the only ball that you can pot that you can see that you can pot here. So then it's, for me, it's sort of fairly sheer guesswork as to where yeah. to actually sort of get the angle right for that. To be yeah, well, straight away you've gone back to standing sideways on this. I you do just, anyway. I, I can't yeah, can, 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 can you can you be a little bit? Because when you were potting that other one in the cut, in when you, when we set that one up there, you were a little bit squarer on than that. Yeah, yeah like that. Lean forward any more than that. Yeah, like maybe, maybe a little bit squarer on than that. No, this this one a little bit further forward, no, that okay. way. That's it. Yeah. And then and then you're a little bit close to to the cue ball here. So okay. it, uh, yeah, yeah, like there. And then it, it's just a matter of picking the line on the like you know when we said you, you look at the cue ball to the object ball and you look at the object ball to the pocket. Yeah. So you've then got to work out the distance between that and that, and then the pocket. Wait. You're right in there. <laughs> <laughs> Full of cold.
better. So looks so much better now. You're much more controlled. Well, I practiced with Archie a bit and played the same team. Right. I've not seen him cue as nice as that ever, basically. He's hitting the ball much, much sweeter than, than when I first saw him play, definitely. It's a lot more it's a lot more easier to put the cue ball where you want to put it, basically. I think Ooh, good effort. Now I think it might be a see now what you need to remember here is if the cue ball is anywhere from where it is now this end of the table he can pot it if the cue ball is anywhere from here this way yeah, he you can't, can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now the one thing that we don't want to do here also is at the minute the black only really goes into one pocket which is over there which is the pocket he played on yeah. so if we move this it opens yeah. up all the pockets for him so True. the last thing we want to do is move this at the minute yeah so if i was playing a safety shot here i'd just be off coming off this one Quite and, and putting trying to put the cue ball over in this area, yeah. So, you'd be what you'd be looking for is to bounce this one maybe onto the chalk. Bounce so this hits the chalk, the cue ball comes in, hopefully, comes back in front of the cue ball like this. But you've got to be careful you don't hit it too hard because remember what we're talking about natural angles. The natural angle, if you if you hit that a little bit too hard, you can go close to the pocket here, yeah. So, you need to be aware that the cue ball could go close to here. There you go, perfect. Oh, just left in the edge, nearly. I'm gonna try it. You need to get a lot on on this table. Good shot. Good shot. See, see now, by not moving this, even though he has potted it. It's in a position where it only really goes in one pocket unless he unless he flukes it. You see the old arm with the <laughs> Yeah. Like I guess that's my natural shot. Yeah. <laughs> have to try it again. Yeah, I think I'm, I think that might be a better option. See, a good thing to remember in these situations is obviously you're playing to pop the black into there. So if you if you look where you're hitting the cue ball on the cushion, which is roughly where that chalk mark is. If you just play to going off, forget the balls are there and play to come off the cushion and pop the white in there, you're not going to be far off. Yeah. If you know what I mean, because the cue ball is going to be coming off at this angle, which is which is the angle to pop the black. Oh, good effort. That would have been a bit of a finish for the cameras. Same same thing again. You don't want to be putting the cue ball yeah, down here because obviously it goes into here. So I think you could pot that one, leave the white where that is, and then you're going to think what you're going to do afterwards. Well, afterwards you could possibly play the double. Yeah. See, this is how we were before. You see, see how you see how your cue is so high. Yeah, it is, yeah, your cue is high. You need you need that's it. You need to drop the cue down, get the cue flatter. The there, look. Yeah. That's it. See how um, every time with you, you it, it's it's you're pushing the cue ball off to the left. You're slightly alignment. Your alignment yeah. is is left all the time. You're, yeah, it's true. Actually. I don't think you're missing the balls. I think you're just aligning them wrong. Yeah. That's two shots. <laughs> yeah, you have to play from there. Yeah. Mm, not that much option here, is there? I think probably first shot, because you're not going to pot one the first shot, so probably get your bad one off the cushion. But you need to remember what you're going to play afterwards. So if you just hit it full in its face, you're going to have a tricky shot afterwards. So I think you need to maybe just miss this yellow and hit it, hit it on the left-hand side as you look. The shot. So can you see that one in the middle? Not quite. 